Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Young V shooting you guys another great video here again. Uh, just bringing you some great content like always. Uh, always excited guys. Always just thrilled to uh, to be able to empower you, right? Hopefully this helps. Hopefully anything that we're sharing with you on our Young Alpha Kings channel uh, is equipping you and giving you the, the tools in life. So uh, therefore you can become the greatest version of yourself. Um, cause I believe tools are what we need, you know, as young men, uh, we, uh, aren't given many tools, you know, out there in the world. Uh, the world teaches us to really fail and not give us anything. Um, and here we're really, um, working hard to help young men, older men and middle-aged men, whatever it is, uh, to, uh, become the greatest version of themselves so they can go out there in the world and impact the world and the way they need to, to see fit. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, so I'm, I'm working on my eye contact. I'm making sure I'm not looking in, out in, in outer space. It looks like sometimes I look at my videos and look like I'm in outer space. I'm like, I don't think I'm looking at the camera. So, uh, but yeah, you know, just little improvements like that. So anyways, guys, thrilled to be here. So, um, today's topic, uh, I just been thinking just stuff I've been thinking about on my mind, like always. And, uh, I've just come to the thought and I was thinking like, well, uh, has social media ruined long-term uh, LTRs, what we call them, uh, relationships? Has, has social media ruined uh, LTR relationships? And, um, you know, I, I'm just going to crack right into it, guys, you know, and I believe that that is a major part of why society and the relational experiences are the way they are nowadays. Um, things have changed big time. They're not what they used to be. Um, the access of accessibility, rather be for guys and, you know, girls, especially for the opposite sex of women, they, they have a lot of access to doing a lot of other things and you know, reaching the top tier 20% of men, if you will. And that's just the nature of the beast, right? I'm not upset about it. I get it. Hey, if you're a girl, you know, watch this channel, do your thing. Uh, it's what it is. But the reality for men is that you guys need to understand that this is what's going on. Social media is really given the power of abundance in a way of choice right and <clears throat> what seems like uh in most cases as most relationships are just kind of being put by the wayside uh meaning like the the casual typical uh, relationships people are going for the top of the best of the best is my point and uh, most of the time guys are uh we you know we're just um a lot of guys are overlooked Right, 80% of guys out there, you know, it's almost that uh, Plato principle, really. It's that 80 20 uh, principle that 80% um, uh, of the men are going to be looked over. And that's okay, guys. You know, uh, like I've said before on this channel, uh, our goal is to become the greatest version of ourselves. That is what we've been put on this earth to do. Um, uh, society has a, done a good job of, of taking that away from us. Uh, having us not realize our potential and what's important to us what we need to value which is our time right and our commitments right because your commitment means something you don't just throw your commitment out there guys you don't just you know whether it be a girl or whatever the case may be your commitment is valuable and you don't just give it to anybody um people need to earn that and whether they they want to hear that or not it doesn't matter you know we de we uh, esteem things too light that we do not pay a price for people think that just because you exist or whatever the case may be that you should just get your time they should just say hey you should hey here's my time you can have it right i don't think so that's not how this world works that's not how actual um quality relationships work uh business you know friendships or or um ltrs right it, it doesn't matter uh people need to understand the value of what they are earning and this is why i say men is that the only thing we should be uh, uh focusing on is our path and purpose becoming the greatest version of ourselves uh stretching and growing ourselves i'll say this to the day i die you guys got to get this ingrained in your head that we need to be out there on our path and purpose not to get a better job not to get uh, uh to have a woman pursue us or, or whatever the case may be not to have um um not even so much money that that's binary that'll come but the thing is is that we need to be chasing our path and purpose that is just what we are meant to do on this earth you know we built ourselves we built the world that we're in and us men need to continue to get back on it whether you uh have great appeal like depending on what's you know the opposite gender or whatever or, or your employer thinks like hey you know you got uh this and that and we'd like to have you come aboard regardless of what anyone else thinks of you you should be thinking the best of yourself and what is it that i can do what is it that i can impact how can i change the world in my own way because we all have gifts a lot of us don't know 
all of our gifts and uh, it took a little time for me to find mine and I'm very grateful for that uh, I didn't know him either just a few years ago but uh, we need to understand that our gifts are what create us and mold us so um, and, I, and I share this with you like when I talk to gentlemen about books and things like that you guys got to read you know it, I'd say the top things that men need to do but we need to focus on okay is uh, obviously stretching ourselves right we need to be reading I don't want to read well, don't let that stop you becoming to, from becoming the best version of yourself and becoming a great a leader first within you, so then if, therefore you can be a leader out in the world. You've got to read. I don't care how you feel about it. You need to read. Not just Kindles, not just audiobooks. You need to actually have a physical book and read the books. There's something about reading a book that just does something. It just changes your perspective on things. So I, that, I can't stress that enough. You know, you need to read. Okay, uh, it's not like I want to you got to read because you're getting perspective from people that are 10 20 30 40 50 100 years of knowledge That will put you light years ahead of your life if you just picked up the book Even if you got to read for like 10 minutes a day, that's fine. Just just do something right something's better than nothing, right? Um, and uh, what is it? Uh, um, listening to some positive motivational things right doing things that help grow yourself to become better right for you right so then therefore everything will become that'll that'll be a, uh, um, that'll attract excuse me will be binary because we attract what we are not what we want okay so if you're if you're looking to become great you're looking to become the best version of yourself don't worry about all that other stuff yes is a tempting yes is a hard hundred percent i'm a guy i know you know i live in this world like you and it's tough because we have to make sure that we are focused on our path and purpose that is what we're meant to do uh, that is where we get our most fulfillment it's when we're on that path and purpose because if we don't you know we die inside a man without a vision shall perish right i believe i've said that before on this channel you guys have to know that your vision is important it is the number one thing over everything relationships kids it doesn't matter what it is that is the most important thing that is the backbone of your existence and uh we need to be pursuing that and you know i just feel like this is partly why um social media and all this other stuff going back to that has kind of ruined relationships uh not just ruined relationships but just uh, uh maybe even friendships too um because we're so focused on you know either keeping up with the joneses you know or trying to chase a bigger better deal um instead of pursuing what we need to pursue with is in which is within us uh to become the greatest version of ourselves and um you know social media can have a big impact on that and you don't worry about what other people are doing. I've, I've heard it said, to find out what 99% of other people are doing and have the guts to do the complete opposite. Do not do what everyone else is doing. Everyone else is doing the same thing, going nowhere real fast. And if that's the case, pay attention. Let your light bulb go off, right? Awareness, notice. And if they're not going nowhere and you see the life they have, you need to look. Say, do they have the life I have? Or do, they have do they have the life that I want? And nothing against anyone, but you have to realize this. Be like, hey, is this the life that I want, the people that I'm talking to, the people I'm idolizing, or whatever the case may be, the things I'm looking at, do they have the life, the outcome, the results in their life that, that I want? If they don't, you need to turn the other way and find people who have that and the results that you're looking for. It, it, relationships and the people that you associate with are important, right? The books you read and the people you associate with. I just said books earlier, okay? And the people you associate with, those are the things that are going to dictate the future and the path that you have. Relationships and everything right uh success everything so this is what i'm talking about when it comes to you know social media and what it's done and how it's really changed the dynamic of relationships because people have their self images based through that right through the approval of other people when they shouldn't be getting approval from other people at all they should be comparing themselves to who they were yesterday that's what i've heard great mentors people who are multimillionaires that i know that are great people say the same thing that they say that you should only be comparing to yourself with who you were yesterday not to somebody else's and their results their life is their own life um, you just need to know if they're someone that you would want to follow and be a part of their life if they're if they have the life that you want and uh but i believe relationships not relationships excuse me uh i believe um uh, social media has just played a big part in it. It's kind of just getting us all whack, wacky and screwy and just kind of off track, right? But men, you need to understand that don't worry about what social media is doing. Don't worry about what the ladies out there are doing. You know, if they want to be promiscuous, let them. If they want to be uh, out there, you know, you know, just having this drama roller coaster wheel with these other guys, let them. You know, if, you, if they want to go out there and just do whatever they want to do, doesn't matter. It doesn't concern you, right? Let them. You have to continue to become great. Continue to become the best version of yourself. And all the other things will come 
through the process of that. The right people will will, will come your way. You know, you attract what you are, like I said, not what you want. So, uh, so anyways, but guys, you know, so I'm excited, always excited, always pumped, always thrilled to always share something like this. Uh, I can go on forever with this. this is a big subject. Oh, also, there's a video I want you guys to take a look at down below. Uh, this young lady is phenomenal. She's talking about um, this as a woman's aspect, as a wife. Uh, she's a great, great woman. I've been hearing her a couple videos, pretty good. Um, and she actually talks into a, a, a talk that goes into a Fresh and Fit. Shout out to Fresh and Fit, by the way. Um, but yeah, she goes ahead and uh, um, talks about this in the uh, the video about her dynamic of being a wife and just kind of just so you gentlemen can get a perspective uh, from the lens eyes of a woman that's a wife and how she actually agrees with some of the, a lot of the things that. Uh, uh, um, fresh and fit are talking about so it's pretty crazy but anyways uh i really, really recommend it's down below check that out so and guys like and subscribe hey if you're on instagram you know go up top and look at the link up there and and, and hit the young alpha kings hit that and please subscribe guys right and uh, we need your support we need your help and down below just if you're on youtube hit the like and subscribe down there guys just hit the like hit the like hit the like hit the subscribe it really helps the algorithm so anyways guys i'm out your boy young v's out again so uh, always great hearing from you guys and again you just gotta hit with a lot of doing here. be safe peace bye